Wow. I woke up this morning and my position with Terra Luna is not at zero. It's actually up over 400%. Yesterday, I made a video talking about how I was buying wrapped Luna and talked about the whole idea of this possibly going back up to some insane highs. Maybe not insane highs, but going back to a point where I could lock in some serious profit. I ended up buying even more wrapped Luna last night as well. So I've got over 6 million, over 6 million wrapped Luna. I'm going to talk about how you can buy it and all that fun stuff right here in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Patrick here. Like I said yesterday, this whole play on Luna, on Terra Luna, Rap Luna, whatever you want to call it, very, 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 very speculative. I'm not expecting, you know, 100% move that this thing is going to go up. I really have no idea exactly what happens from here. But I do know that right now I'm up over 400% on my original investment here on Wrapped Luna. And well, let's dive into the charts and talk more about what's going on with Terra Luna right now and the idea of this thing going back to possibly going back. Let's say, let's say the best case scenario, this gets back to one penny. It gets back to one penny. They do some burns and well, you know, I could, my 6 million would turn into Six hundred thousand dollars with only you know about a three hundred four hundred dollar investment here. So breaking it down and talking about. <clears throat> so first things first here, you can see the chart on W Luna this morning right around uh, 0. 0.00023. Yesterday when I made the video on YouTube talking about how I was buying it, you can see we were down here at about zero 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 four zero six. So pretty much like all the way down here yesterday. And you can see this move so far at the highs was up about 532%. If we look right now, we are up around, uh, do, 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 do. we're up about 300% currently since that original buy down there at the 006 area. So you can see the move last night had a high up all the way up there to 30.00036. Uh, and right now kind of pulling back here as you know the us and the rest of the world's waking up here and kind of figuring out what to do obviously there's been some insane volatility some up some down like i said before this is a very speculative play i have no idea exactly how high this could possibly go there's probably a much better chance that this ends up going to zero and well you know i lose a small investment here but right now i'm chilling i'm up 300 percent and i'm gonna let this one keep riding for the idea of this thing breaking out to the upside. You can see here on the chart right now, this is a three minute chart we're looking at. And I would say we're basically, you know, in this channel right now, almost like a bull flag on this thing. And if we can push above this, I'd say 26s, push above the 26s here, maybe try to push back up to that high from earlier in the day. And well, it'll be interesting to see what happens today as more and more people start to look into this play. There's also the idea that this thing kind of, you know, fizzles out and just does this back down. So I'm obviously looking at it from both sides. Like I said, I didn't invest an insane amount of money, so I'm not worried here either way. This is kind of like either, you know, we're going to hit big, big jackpot or, well, we're going to walk away. You know, maybe at this point I can basically say I'm going to wake. <clears throat> I'm going <clears> to <throat> at this point, I said at this point, I would say that I'm basically, you know, going to lock in that profit here um, at break even worse coming to worse. So I can't lose money. I can't lose money on this trade. Now the question is how much money can I make, baby? So that's the million dollar question. You look here on Twitter as well. No real news coming out recently uh, in the last couple hours. This was about 18 hours ago. They talked about the revival plan and this is the founder, Du Quan. A lot of people are really, really upset with this guy, obviously, but hey, there's some opportunity. He's been posting. I mean, he posted this back on May 9th. So nothing really that new other than the idea of the revival plan. The revival plan basically is saying that they're going to create 1 billion new Terra Luna tokens. And then they would then distribute that to the holders. And 10% of that billion would basically go to anyone who's been buying. So like if I have 6 million, I would then get 10% of the new coin based on what I own now. So if that happens, it'll be interesting. You know, obviously the upside is not going to be as big, but it'll be interesting to see 
kind of how this all plays out. Like I said, no one really has any clue as to where this go or basically how high this can go or where it's going to go. It's a million dollar question right now. And that's why the speculation is so high. That's why it's been so volatile. At the end of the day, you got to ask yourself when making an investment, you know, what's the upside? What's the risk here? And you got to, you know, kind of weigh those options. And like I said, right now I'm up 300%. I could probably, you know, lock in the profit, you know, take the profit, walk away, be green, blah, blah, blah. Or I can look for a much bigger winner here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do because this money that I've made so far on this trade, you know, it's not going to change my life. It's not going to change pretty much anything at this point. If for some reason, Terra Luna goes back to one penny before, you know, or whatever they do a burn. There's a million different scenarios here. They could do a burn. They could end up using the reserves to buy and try to push the price back up. You know, there's lots of different options here and everybody, everybody has a theory, but like I said, no one really knows exactly what's going to happen. Only place that I've seen that I have been able to buy W Luna is on Coinbase. I think you can see here on coin market cap on coin market cap, Terra Luna is showing that it's trading at point zero 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 three seven so w luna for some reason is trading a little bit below that obviously like i said you know there's really just no idea of exactly what what is going on or why it's going on i am looking into how i could figure out how to transfer my w luna into terra luna at this point because that would be a pretty amazing arbitrage trade here but you can see you know where it's trading at you got binance trading it right now you got kucoin ftx gate io kraken I think, and also you can get W uh, Luna, W Luna on Coinbase right now. So if you're looking to buy it, these are basically where you can buy it right now. And most people are probably going to end up buying it on Coinbase as W Luna. So W Luna is a wrapped Ethereum token that represents one Terra Luna token. So keep that in mind. Like I said, I have no idea. This is not financial advice. I have no idea what's going to happen what the value is going to be or where this could possibly go. So there's the breakdown. What's been going on the last like 12 hours, um, making some returns, looking for some opportunities here. I saw a lot of people commenting below on the video yesterday saying that I had no idea what I was doing, that I was going to lose everything that I invested, but guys, come on, investing a few hundred dollars for a possible thousand, you know, 10,000% return here is not a bad trade for me personally. Like I said, only risk what you're willing to lose here on this trade. And again, I'm not even telling you to buy it. Don't go and buy it, you know, it, you know, based on what I see here or what I'm talking about, do your own research. If you see opportunity, then look into that opportunity. And if you guys haven't already, do me one big favor, hit that like button, subscribe button, and all the buttons down below. I will talk to you guys later on. Yeah.